everyone, I'm here to teach you how to do a split screen recording hack. Many of you have asked how I have gotten the split screen look that you've seen in some of my videos. So I'm here to show you in as few of steps as possible. It's really easy. It's not at all complicated. It's totally a hack. I'm using my MacBook Pro, QuickTime, and Photo Booth, as well as my document camera um, to make this, this quick video for you. So right now, you'll notice that you're seeing me in Photo Booth. It's really important to know that the only reason I'm using Photo Booth right now is the, uh, as a means to get my face onto the screen. I'm not actually using Photo Booth to record any part of my lesson. It's just mirroring my face onto the screen, okay? Um, the next thing that I'm going to do after I get my face onto the screen using Photo Booth is I'm going to open my document camera. And I am using um, my visualizer document camera. Here it is. And as soon as I get that pulled up, I am going to choose custom so that I can uh, manipulate the size of my, my screen. Now, I'm a little type A. I, I totally embrace it. I like things to line up. So I make the top of my photo booth where I'm showing up line up with the top of my visualizer. And then um, I stretch it down. And I like to think like, okay, how do, do I want my, where, how do I want um, my document camera to look? How much of me needs to be in the video? I, I'm just playing with sizing things um, next to each other. Get everything out of the, the, the window, all of that, okay? The next thing that I do is I make sure that I have QuickTime on just by clicking QuickTime. And then I'm going to go up and I would choose File, New Screen Recording. Now. I can't click this right now because I'm recording my screen for the purpose of showing you um, this video. But if I click that, what would happen is a little window would pop up that would look just like this. I took a screenshot for you, all right? I need to make sure that my sound is on. And by doing that, I would click the little arrow that's right here and make sure my internal microphone is on, or you might end up with a video without sound. And I know that's happened for a num number of you as well. Then the next thing that will pop up is this little window that'll ask me if I wanna click the full screen, which that's actually what I'm doing right now in this video to show you how to do this, but that's not what you wanna to do to record the split screen. So to record the split screen, you highlight the portion of the screen that you want to record. So it's almost like you're taking a screenshot where you click in the corner, I'll pretend, click in the corner, and you would drag that down, and you'll see a little dotted line going around the edge. After you have done that, this is what will pop up, a little button that says start recording. And as soon as you click that, um, what will happen is the area that's only inside the dotted line that you've highlighted, that will start um, recording. So as soon as you hit that start recording button, look at the camera and smile so that first face that you have on the camera isn't a goofy one. And that's all there is to it. Now, some of you have asked, how do I get this recording to stop? That's right up here. It's this black circle with this black square inside of it. Click that and your QuickTime recording will stop, okay? Another window will pop up and then you'll be able to save directly to um, your desktop or your downloads and then upload it to Google Drive or whatever works for you. So again, this is a total hack, but it's really nice for kids to be able to see the, um, the, the document camera or whatever it, whatever it is that you're projecting, as well as your face, and to have them both be sizable enough that the kids can see you and what you're projecting at the same time. So I hope that's helpful. I hope you're all healthy and well, and thanks for tuning in.